Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a heat hacks video. So at the moment in the UK we are in the middle of a huge heat wave. Um, so I've been doing everything I can to keep Daisy cool. So I thought I would share with you some of my top tips for keeping your baby or toddler cool in the summer. You'll have to excuse the noise. Um, everyone seems to be mowing their lawn today. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be in the garden and I'm just going to share with you what we're getting up to and how I am keeping Daisy cool and happy in this weather. So the first thing I wanted to mention was this pop-up tent. I got this for about £10 in Smith's toy shop and it's been really good at giving Daisy some shade and she can kind of crawl inside to escape the sun. She loves to play with her toys inside and then she loves playing peekaboo as well. It folds away really small as well so you could always fold it down and keep it in the house or in the shed when you're not using it. And we actually have taken this pop-up tent out and about with us as well. So we've taken it to the beach, we've taken it to the new forest which is near where we live and um, Daisy's actually napped in this tent in the heat as well. So I think because it's got the little flappy doors and it's also got the um, small hole for her to crawl in and out of there is an airflow so it doesn't actually get too hot inside the tent but it just is really good for blocking out the sun um, and just giving her a bit of a space where she can go to if she's getting a bit warm so Daisy's been given an orange ice pop today which I made this morning I literally just poured some orange juice into the mold and then let it freeze for a couple of hours and it gives her this nice cool treat these ice lolly molds are from newbie and I got them on Amazon so I'll link them down below. I originally bought them actually when Daisy was really small and um, this was before weaning so she used to have breast milk ice pops. This would help with teething but it would also help if the weather was a bit warm so you can use it for a younger baby as well. But these days um, Daisy has orange in her ice pops. I will also blend up fruits but um, yeah she's just had the orange one today and she really enjoyed enjoys it. I was trying to think what I could do to help keep Daisy cool and I thought why not make some jelly because obviously it comes straight out of the fridge, it's fun to play with so it would help cool her little hands down and it's obviously tasty as well so it's quite a nice little treat for her. So I got a sachet of Hartley's sugar free strawberry jelly crystals um, and just made it up like the instructions say on the back of the pack and then I poured it into the silicon cupcake cases because I thought that would be easy and then yeah she just had that as part of her snack today and she really enjoyed it. So after breakfast this morning before it got too hot I took Daisy to B&M which is a UK kind of budget discount superstore. Um, so I went there this morning because I wanted to pick up a couple of these pet cooling mats. So obviously these are designed for pets and my dog Bear was definitely getting some use out of it today as well but I thought that it would be really good for Daisy to sit on so I got a large one for her to sit on and play on but I also got a small one as well and I thought that it would go nicely in her pushchair so that when she's being pushed around in her pushchair she can sit on something that's nice and cool and it will stop her from overheating when we're out and about as well. Off we go. Sorry Bear darling you're gonna have to stay it's too warm for you. We've just stopped so that Daisy can have a snack in a sec, but I've got to say as we were leaving, um, these little icy bite keys are also really good in the hot weather, so I use them when Daisy's teething mainly, but I got these out of the fridge just before we left, and it's just that extra little thing to help keep her cool. And obviously this one goes without saying, but water, 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 just keep making sure that you're giving the fluids all day long to your baby. Daisy's a really cheeky one. If I leave her cup just lying around, she won't just go over to it and drink. I literally have to show it to her and be like, come on, have a drink. Um, so yeah, we do struggle a little bit with that one. 
So after our walk, we got home and we went straight into the garden. I put some sun cream on Daisy and then we were ready to get into the paddling pool. I used Child's Farm sun cream on Daisy and although it's not really a way to cool your baby down, it's definitely a must have in this weather. The next one is definitely Daisy's favourite out of all of these things. She absolutely loves, loves, loves the paddling pool. So we spent quite a lot of time today in the pool. And actually, come to think of it, even if you haven't got any outdoor space or you haven't got a paddling pool, any kind of water play would be really, really good at cooling your baby down. So sometimes when Daisy isn't actually in the pool, she's just sat on the side. She's still playing with the balls and the utensils and actually the water's still splashing on her and that's still a really good way of keeping her cool. We love filling the pool with all sorts of silly stuff so in there you'll see cooking utensils and water bottles and mirrors but it's all good fun for Daisy and she really likes exploring. One thing I'll quickly say as well is um, I never let Daisy in the pool or just generally to play outside unless she's got a hat on. So the hat she's wearing here is from H&M and it's a swim hat so it's kind of like a swimming costume material but it's really good at protecting her neck and it dries really quickly as well. We're just having a little bit of indoor play now. It's midday at the moment, so the sun is just so, so strong. Daisy was starting to get grumpy outside anyway, so we've just come in to have some quiet indoor play. Everyone's absolutely exhausted from the sun. Daisy's just come in from the paddling pool, so I've just popped a little loose like sleep suit romper thing on her. Um, we actually bought these from H&M from the sleep section, but she wears them a lot in the day as well because they're so loose and cool. Daisy's got hiccups now as well after all the excitement of outside. And you, you got hiccups. Anyone else's child get hiccups like five times a day? <laughs> Here in the UK, we're just not equipped to deal with heat waves at all. So it's really, really rare for any of the UK houses to have air conditioning. That is, yeah, unheard of pretty much. So when we get hit with temperatures that are above 30 degrees, we just can't cope. <laughs> We're not used to it and our homes are just not designed to be that hot. So I always try, if I can, to avoid the midday sun and just keep Daisy indoors. Even though it's really warm indoors as well, at least the sun is off her head and she can have some calm, quiet playtime instead of being crazy in the paddling pool. <laughs> These fruit feeders are really good. I got them on Amazon and I bought them a while ago when Daisy was teething really badly. But basically you just put fruit into the silicon bit um, and then you freeze it. So this morning I put some grapes in, popped them in the freezer and then this afternoon I grabbed them out and Daisy could have a cold frozen grape snack. Another thing I did this morning was I froze some water with some blueberries in to make some different shaped ice cubes. I then put them on Daisy's tray this afternoon and we had a bit of a game with the ice. This is not only good for cooling your baby down, but it's also a really good thing for their sensory development. So I used to do this as well when Daisy was tiny, um, not really to cool her down, um, but more just so that she could feel the sensation of the cold ice on her hands. But she absolutely loved it today. She was throwing it on the floor. She was touching the blueberries. Yeah, it was a good 20 minutes well spent, although it was quite messy. <laughs> During this heat wave, we've invented a bit of a game. So I'll put a packet of wet wipes in the fridge and then I'll pull them out and I'll chuck them on Daisy. She'll throw them back at me and we'll make a bit of a game of it. I think it helps to cool our hands down and our head. If I was to actually physically wipe Daisy with the wipes, she'd probably just cry and she won't enjoy it. But this way, I feel like she's getting the benefit of having some of the cool wipes on her skin, but I'm not pinning her down to physically wipe her face. I probably wouldn't do this with a baby younger than Daisy though because I think the wipes would be quite cold on a younger baby's skin and it might be a bit of a shock but for Daisy we just treat this as a bit of a laugh. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got something from it. If you like what you saw then please hit subscribe and I will see you in my next one.